Hello there and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. So here on the show we always have like a, a calendar of fun events that you can do. Well now I found kind of the answer to what do I do this weekend? <laughs> we have 100 things to do in Salt Lake City before you die by Jeremy Pugh. Welcome to the show sir. How are Hi, you? Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. When I saw this book I was so excited because I grew up in Utah but as I was flipping through this I'm like I don't think I've done three fourths of the things in here. Okay, well, it's that, you know. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I was kind of surprised. So let's first start our start start off with a little bit of your background. You used to be the editor for Salt Lake Magazine. You got definitely have a, a thing for writing, been around a time yeah. or two, so you've met the people, seen the places, talked about the things that you've compiled in this book, right? Yeah, I have done all one hundred and there's more than a hundred because some of them are lists of Ooh, things to do. Yes. And it's not just Salt Lake City, it's kinda within a two hours radius sure. of, of Salt Lake City. Um, um, so, uh, yeah, I've been writing about Salt Lake and living in Salt Lake for a long time. I uh, grew up in Utah, and it was a great chance to talk about a lot of things I love, and um, I love to kind of share our state with people, and, and I don't know, it's a little bit of, came up with this idea for a bucket list, if you will. Nice, nice. And you so, wrote this over the summer. Yeah, last kind summer. Of compiled it. Yeah. Right? And how did you go about getting all of these ideas? Because I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, as I said, I'm like, I never would have thought of this. Where did this? Where you come from? <laughs> well, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of an active participant mm -hmm. in life in Utah, and uh, I've been writing about Salt Lake in Utah for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, a lot of its greatest hits, I guess. You know, Temple Square's in there, of course. Sure. And But I also tried to find things that were not the visitor center sort of things mm -hmm. you'd find out. So Yeah. Yeah. The obvious ones. You want yeah, to kind of go yeah. beyond that. But I love how here uh, my co-host Joe was mentioning, uh, you know, Snowbird, they're replacing the cables on this tram oh, yeah. in April, which kind of terrified us. We're like, what? They need to be replaced. Well, uh, but, I mean, you have that iconic image right. right here. And then you open it up, and there you have the... The LDS uh, Salt Lake Temple. Yeah, it's right a there. little bit of the secular and the and yeah. the and the religious side of Utah, which is it's kind of part of living here in Utah. Right. There's a, we, we sort of are surrounded in this. I call it the Higgs boson of life. Is <laughs> you know the back the history of our state. Um, but Utah's a I don't know. It's it's a great mix of cosmopolitan and rural, and and I hope that that's reflected in my book. Yeah, and I noticed that you have such a, a wide variety of things to do. You know, some that you would think. Oh yeah, there's things uh, located around and surrounding, you know, this space that you you know you see billboards of this yeah, <laughs> as yeah. you go through Utah, as you do for for skiing as well. Yeah. So kind of describe, I guess, that clash of cultures, if if you will, when it comes to Utah. <laughs> well, I think I think Salt Lake, especially, people are surprised and I, I'm, uh, that that it's kind of such a liberal city, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But I think that's sort of part of the interesting push pull between the history and culture of Utah and how it was founded by the by the by the Mormons and and really built from the ground up literally with bare hands and into this amazing place that it is by these people um, and then people who are you know it's a it's sort of a traditionally conservative religion and so people who have differing opinions I think their opinions get a little louder and if they think people I think probably the best example of that is that it's in the book is the pride parade in Salt Lake is mm -hmm. it's one of the biggest in the country yeah. and I think that's just an example of like the the tension that brings out both sides um, and everybody's a little more vociferous about their thing whatever it happens to be mm -hmm. and we still manage to coexist so I think that's great luckily yeah you believe it <laughs> no I think it's I think it's I think it's I think it makes it one of the most interesting places to be a writer uh -huh. um, the history is amazing I think Western history the history of the West the settlement of the West um, is pretty standard stuff and Utah has this great story that's unlike anything else you've got like a Mormon you know got the kind of an American Moses leads a people across America founds a whole, you know, uh, you know, city and state, you know. And look where we are now. And look where we are now. Economically and everything. You're like, yeah. wow. Yeah. It is kind of incredible. So. So share with me some of the, the categories that we have um, in here. Well, it's divided up. So it's not like a top 100. So sure. every, you know, there's not like one best thing to do in there. Um, it's uh, food and drink, uh, outdoors and sports, which we have a lot of outdoor activities. Oh, yeah. Um, culture and history. And uh, shopping and fashion. Nice. So. You got some entertainment stuff. You have 
um, everything. Oh, and music from, and entertainment, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget that. And that's one of the things, too. I mean, you have, like, um, I mean, this isn't directly in Salt Lake, but, like, you know, Valor Music Gallery and Provo and other ones that you have in Salt Lake. You're like, wow, the music scene. Yeah, that's a, that's a, and I've done some writing on that in Salt Lake Magazine recently, mm -hmm. and um, and that the, a lot of the items in there are music venues because Salt Lake is in this really great position between kind of the coasts, mm -hmm. and people pass through here. So, and we have these really great, like, small, Valor is a great club in Provo. It's not in the book, unfortunately. Um, but You'll have to do one for Provo. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a bad <laughs> idea. Um, the stateroom in Salt Lake and Urban Lounge uh, and Kilby Court get this kind of pass-through traffic. And so you'll see bands that are they're playing the Bowery Ballroom in Brooklyn, uh -huh. or in, in New York. Um, and uh, and then they'll be here at the stateroom, like, Right. The following week, so, so cool. yeah, oh, I love it. So, so share with me how how did these items, how did these activities make the cut? Like, were you like, is uh, this odd enough, or is this bizarre? And like, how did it work? Because there's some really outlandish things in here. Then also some like, oh, that makes sense. I could do that. Yeah, I, I tried to make a good mix of a things that I, you know, there's a lot of great weird Utah stuff, and you could do a whole book about just weird Utah stuff. In no, fact, I there's might. another idea for you. Come up with <laughs> um, ideas. Well. And uh, but then there's like, and I but I tried to even take things like Temple Square and and write about like things you might not know about at Temple Square, like, like those rooftop gardens on top of the the, the conference center that I don't think people realize are up there or you know or even the sustainability measures about the, the conference center that you didn't realize were that I learned you yeah. know, as, a, as a part of that yeah exactly. yeah so and I so I tried to find those things that and even if you if you've lived all your life if you haven't gone to Temple Square go to Temple Square it's really cool you know there's lots of there's it's it, about the history of where you're living yeah <laughs> so um, and I also tried to tried to find things that only that only I know a few people know about and you know the the two-headed lamb at the Daughters of Utah Pioneers Museum yeah, I for example that. That, well, yeah, kind of describe <laughs> what, what that is well the Daughters of Utah Pioneers Museum is a really great museum anyway um, it, it's by this group the Daughters of Utah Pioneers Years, it's a lot like the Daughters of the Revolutionary War, um, and it's not official church, and the museum is just tells the story of the families that came across the plains, which I think is a story that, and the women and the children, which is a story that's not told as loudly, and so there's all this like bric-a-brac in there, so it's, it's it, I don't know, it's just a cool museum, and amongst the things in there, the many, many things, the toys and the rattles and the, is this taxidermy two-headed lamb. <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere in there, go find it amid all this stuff. Oh so. my goodness! And you have a, another one, a shoot the tube. What's that? Oh, I'm worried I'm going to get sued over that. Oh, really? <laughs> Should we not bring that one? Up? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, it's a very much a Salt Lake tradition. It, there, it runs under I-80 freeway. It's up by Tanner Dog Park. There is a okay, culvert. Okay, I've been there. I'm like, what? There's a, okay. if you go hike to the top, you know, there's that pond where all the dogs jump in. Right. Well, there's a culvert that comes out of there. You can go up and around what? safely <laughs> and ride a like a little like a floaty through it. That's so cool. It's a little dangerous. <laughs> I know. Do you have but a in that in, for like dangerous? No, that, that's probably the most. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apart that's from so learn great. to ski or snowboard, that's up there. But sure. Oh, that's at your so own great. risk, basically, everyone. <laughs> uh, I, I really feel like you should have like some like little note down here, like the, do this. At your yeah. <laughs> the I'm inherent not being risk. Held of, liable yeah. Exactly. For your I think there is actually. a note in the front of the book about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so great. Uh, march past the mansions on South Temple. I mean, what's well, going yeah, all those mansions on South Temple are. It's kind of history, the, you know, in Park City history is the the Silver Barons. Um, you know, around the turn of the century, mm -hmm. uh, all these people made uh, outsiders mostly Gentiles uh, made a lot of money off the silver mines up here in Park City, and they built these massive mansions on uh, South Temple. Um, the governor's mansion is the Kearns Mansion, which is one of those, and so it's like. It, you drive past it a lot. People, if you live in Salt Lake, you drive right past all right. that. So yes. I'm suggesting get out of your car and like go walk mm -hmm. South Temple. And there's all these great old houses. LDS Business College is in one of the old mansions. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things that you drive by and don't notice. And I think so. is uh, unusual for. Uh, the West to preserve things because oftentimes I feel like we're tearing them down. So mm -hmm. the fact that they're they're there and you can see that is wonderful. Right. I think Utah's good at that. You yeah, know, that's good. To I, hear. I hope so. At least yeah. in the central right, part of, right. of town. So another one. This one kind of threw me. I was like, uh, Gravity Hill. 
Oh well, you well you went to school at BYU, so it seems like it's a like if is you, this a you thing? Yeah, okay. kinda. Yeah, it's up it's up in um, you know around the road that goes around Memory Grove okay. in City Creek Canyon, which is just a great yeah. cool thing we have in Salt Lake, I think. Because um, in ten ten minutes you're out, five minutes you're outside of the city in a, in a sense in this untouched canyon other than the road and whatnot. Um, but there's a road that goes around it and it's just kind of an optical illusion. You notice it a lot if you ride, a, a lot of people ride bikes through there because it's, it's mm -hmm. only, you know, it's got a big bike lane. Um, and it feels like you're pedaling when you shouldn't be and not pedaling when you, oh, that's you know. so strange. Yeah. So. Wow. Oh, that's so crazy. Because when I heard that, I was like, I am going to try this. Yeah, I go, go do, do that. Go check it yeah, out. Well, yeah, well, that's what I said. When I saw this book, I, t I said to my husband, I'm like, I have our, like, date book for everything we ever want. Right. That's great. I'm hoping no, that I'm it will be, like, like for date nights. open it, and you're like, yeah. boing, there you Yeah, go. and it's a mix of family-friendly. There's, right. you know, there's some nightlife and, and things like that, but there's food and dining and, and yeah. kid stuff. And, and as you mentioned, it, it, kind of the central focus is Salt Lake, but you even go on a road trip to, to Red Rock Country and stuff. Yeah, if you, if you, nice. if you live here in Northern Utah, that's yeah. one of the things you do. Yeah. You duck out of work early on a Friday and drive five hours and you're in the middle of the Red Rock Desert. Wow. So. Well, we could go on and on for, oh good, you have an index in the back. That's helpful <laughs> <laughs> if you want to find something. But what, uh, so last of all, what was one of your greatest uh, Pleasant surprises, I guess, from compiling this, and you're like, wow. Oh. Did, did you ever have like a real true aha moment where you were like, oh? Or no, I think or it was the think? the fun of it was like pick, like putting it all together, um, and then being able to like share things that I think, you know, the kind of things that you'd tell if a friend came in from out of town. Mm -hmm. I got to put it all in a book. I love it. That's so. great. You're such a great ambassador for our state. <laughs> having thank like, you. Something like this. That, that's awesome. Well, thank you, sir. And where can we find it at? We can get it on my website, verydynamite.com. Mm -hmm. It's available at Barnes and Nobles. Apparently, it's available at Costco soon. But it's also available at the King's English, which I would love if everyone bought a book from right. them. Right. I would recommend that myself. Support so, local. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Jeremy Pugh, 100 Things to Do in Salt Lake City Before You Die. There you have it. We're going to go to a commercial break when we get back. Much more happening here on the Mountain Morning Show.